In 10 years, 70% of the workforce will be made up of millennials and Gen Xers. Uh, and our job now is to share with them the lessons we've learned and to help them find a way to incorporate what works for them in their lives as they go forward. Now you have this circle called your value system. And you have this circle called the corporate culture, the culture you're going into, their value system. Those value systems are never perfect. So let go of that notion. But they do need to overlap in a meaningful way so that the organization, the entity you're choosing to be a part of, uh, is largely in harmony with your values. If it is, you can flourish, grow, and have fun. If it's not, you won't. It's not, it's about that simple. Anybody who says uh, it's, it's, it's not personal, it's just business, has never been successful in business. It is personal. Anything that's worthy of great, uh, that, that has enabled one to deliver great contribution has been done because people were personally committed to it. There has to be quality alignment between your words and your deeds. If there is, people will trust you. If there's not, they won't, and you won't advance. So you have to declare yourself, and then you have to do what you say you're going to do. Recognize that you have the power of choice. Empower yourself to choose a path. Then work with the people around you. Influence them with honor. Just like those people we were challenging you to think about influenced you with honor. Be tough-minded on standards, tender-hearted with people and then build a plan, and then start to work it and make it better over time.